In this video, I will show you how to send emails directly from Excel and Google Sheets and why I prefer one over the other. I will initially show you how to do this in Excel. It is the same procedure even for Google Sheets. Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha, where you can find tutorials on productivity tools. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the bell icon to stay updated. There are many instances where we need to communicate to multiple people a specific type of information. For example, let's say that we need to inform all our customers the payments that are due by each of them. Here is a table showing the customer name and the amount due by each of them. What if you could send an email to each customer directly from Excel? We can easily do that, but before that we need to put some information. Let's add some columns. Let's add the email address, uh, CC address. Let's add the content for the email now. So it's going to be divided as subject and body. And body will further divide as salutation, content and signature. So let's start with the email address. I'm just going to put this address and CC, let's put as sales at technisha.com. Subject, let us put it as payment due. Salutation, I'm just going to start with hello. So let's make the content dynamic and we can achieve that using a formula. So I'm just going to put it here. It's going to be as equal to Let's put some text in. This is regarding the payment amount due of and let's close the quotes and concatenate with an ampersand symbol the amount due cell and again let's continue with the statement kindly make the required payment. So there we go. We have the content which is taking the amount from the cell D4. So if I'm just going to move this formula down, we would get a dynamic content for each customer name based on the amount due. and signature let's put it as regards percentage 0a and technician the percentage 0a is for formatting and it represents a new line character in the email program so now we've got the body of the email with salutation content and signature and let's combine all of it it's going to be equal to the salutation and a space and the name to that we are going to add the content but we want it in the next line so we are going to put percentage 0a and let's put some spaces to that we will add the content and again the next part is going to be signature which is again going to have percentage 0a followed by the signature. I am just going to wrap this text so that the whole body will contain the name of the customer and also the amount due based on the values here in the payment due table. Don't worry about the percentage 0a currently. When we create the email, you will see how this creates a new line. So now we have all the information ready. We have the email addresses and the body of the email. So let's now create the formula. The magic formula that we are going to use to send emails directly is called hyperlink. The syntax of generating an email using hyperlink formula is shown on the screen. The different parts of this formula are 
mail to the email address followed by the CC which is the carbon copy email followed by the subject which is the subject of the email followed by the body and then a friendly link name. The friendly link name is only to have an understandable link instead of a really long URL. So let's make the email link now. Let's go to cell L4 and type in the formula equal to hyperlink and open a double quotes start with the email address which is represented by mail to close the double quotes and put in the cell e4 which is the email address we are going to send this email to put an ampersand and then let's start by adding the other information the first information after the email address needs to be represented by a question mark which is going to be our cc now equal to and to that we add the cc address and to this we are now going to add the subject so we put an ampersand open the double quotes put an ampersand again subject equal to and to that we concatenate it with the cell g4 which is the dynamic subject content and to that formula again we add with an ampersand body equal to and put the cell k4 which contains the content of the email this will represent our complete email to this link we are going to add a friendly name which is easier to see on the excel sheet rather than the complete url and let's call this email link there we now created an email link which is customized to a particular customer name based on the email address cc address and the amount due note that the computer on which we are going to use this file should already be signed into gmail so let's test our link now all you need to do is click here and it will automatically open gmail There, we now have to the email address bruno at technisha.com followed by sales at technisha.com in CC. Our subject is payment due and it's going with the content as hello Bruno. This is regarding the payment amount due of 5000. Kindly make the required payment. Regards Technisha. All we need to do is just press send. So we know that it's working. So let's put some information out here. Let me just copy the same CC address. And let me just copy the formula over to two more cells. There. Now let's try the email link for the second customer which is Rashford. It says that the payment due of rupees 4000 is there which is based on the amount due in this cell and let's see for David which again has uh, let me just put it as 10,000 right now and let's see the email link now. There, we now created an email for David with his particular due amount of 10,000. The procedure is exactly same when you use Google Sheets. So here is the same information in Google Sheets with the exact same formulas. And all we need to do is click the link. And this would create again an email using Gmail. With the particular customer name and the amount due. We can use both Excel and Google Sheets to send the email. However, there is a limitation when we use Excel. The hyperlink formula which we have used to create the email link can only have 255 characters which is a limit imposed by Excel. 
so if we have a longer content let's say we are going to add kindly make the required payment you see now that the email link has now changed to hash value because the total number of characters has exceeded 255 so if i undo what i have done here it's going to be email link we don't have this issue in google sheets so let me just copy this content here let's put it in the google sheets see that it remains as send email link and when i send this email i'm going to have the full content which we wanted it can be really useful to send emails with a common template using the hyperlink formula i hope that this tutorial is of use to you if you liked it please subscribe to the channel till next time ciao